What's going on, guys? Welcome to the New England Polecat Challenge, driven by Innova, sponsored by Dark Hollow Discs, Putt Confidently, and Zuka Cards. I'm here with Drew Mullen. Drew, what's going on? Hey, thank you so much for having me. We got one rule today, and that's you have to throw an Innova Polecat. Awesome disc. Drew, after round one, what are we looking at? Uh, well, we're playing the Red Tees on Calico Creek, and uh, Andrew Gardner sitting on top, Drew. Um, and uh, we're looking pretty good. Uh, the rest of the leaderboard is shaping up. First up, we got Andrew Gardner. Goes by Drew Gardner, minus seven. Co-owner of the course. This should be a good one. This is Frank Richard from Team Bridgeport, minus three. Trumbull, Connecticut, 925 rated. Frankie. That's a beauty pole cat there. <laughs> Next up, we got Kevin Parsons, co-owner of the Putt Confidently, the champ cap. Definitely check these guys out. Ralph DeMonte, Team Burgess, minus one. Canton, Mass. Could be related, not too sure. Tony DeMonte, plus one. Yarmouth, West Yarmouth, Mass. <laughs> we got a good crew going on. That's going to bring us to hole one, 289, par three. OB on the right-hand side. How are you going to tackle this one, Drew? All you're looking to do is throw something on a hyzer, let it uh, drift out to the right-hand side there and fade back a little bit. These discs, uh, the pull cats are pretty trusting. You just need to show your form and really throw it. If you're not familiar with the polecat, flight numbers are one, three, zero, zero. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a difficult disc to really uh, uh, put some torque behind, but Drew did a great job all round one. You're not going to see much fade back here, but nope. that's great. That'll putt. Nah, pretty much where uh, where you put it, it's going to go. So uh, um, if you put it on a hyzer, it's going to go on the hyzer, as Frankie demonstrates here. <laughs> so we're going to see a lot of halo plastic off the tee. We also got uh, some DX cooking. I don't know if I saw any champ off the tee, but this is our first look at Kevin. Starting a little wide. It's yeah. coming back nice, though. There you go. Yep. So 289 on paper seems like a really short hole, but it's pretty far. Yeah, with the pole cat, I mean, I, I think that uh, for a lot of these guys, that's going to be about max distance. For sure. We can see Ralph coming up a little short there. This is a beauty pink halo. Oh, this is a nice shot, too. Tony makes the adjustment, yeah. swinging it out wide. Yeah, that's the right shot. I thought we was ringing it up on that one. Great yeah. shot. So here's Ralph's upshot, a first look at him. Yep. Long putts, long putts. These things, when you put them, they're going to glide. Uh, so it, ha it has a nice flat approach when you, when you throw it, and it'll kind of nestle right next to the basket if you leave it short. Uh, but I like to, you know, you can give it a good run, and uh, it's not going to go too far past. Good run from Kevin, yeah. good run from Drew there. So Drew's putting with the DX. Some of these guys are just sticking with their halo. Great putt there from Ralph. You're going to see a lot of pars here, I think. This is uh, it's a tough hole to get a deuce on, I think, to start. So starting with the birdies, pretty nice. There we go, Tony. Yep. Frankie with the par. Yeah, not easy to uh, putt with the same disc you just teed off with. Mentally, it's just kind of like a funny thing. But these guys, uh, yeah, pars and birdies to start. Yeah, walking around the course, uh, um, <laughs> the whole first round, it was, it was very interesting getting into it. Uh, just carrying around one disc and a bottle of water. <laughs> it's going to bring us to hole two, 204. We're going in the woods for this one. A couple different gaps you can go this way. Drew, what do you think for this hole? Uh, you want to keep it on the inside gap and try to throw it as straight as possible, maybe a little bit of fade to the left at the end. Um, it's tough. It, you're going to want to uh, pull it out to the right a little bit. You're going to see a lot of, um, uh, in the first round, we threw an awful lot into that uh, the brush on the right-hand side there. Here's Tony's yeah. halo plastic here, getting a little stable on him. Yep. Off to the left. Yeah, so generally halo plastic polecat's obviously more stable. We see some DX, that'll be straighter. Ooh, right into the tree. <laughs> Frank's got some power. He's going to show us our power here. And that's the right side gap. It just never really comes back. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, you really have to release it on that, that full hyzer if you want to. That's that's a good example of it, if you want it to come back to the left a little bit there. Um, yeah, if I missed that tree, that yep. was coming all the way back. <laughs> Ralph going to show us this right side gap again. Good height here, and that's what you want. Yeah, very nicely done. Nestled right in. Yeah, typically you'd probably throw something like a harp on this hole, maybe 200 feet. That really kind of comes back. But these polecats, they just glide. <laughs> Got this nice backstop of this log here, though. Really fun hole. Rare forehand. Do you see a lot of forehands out there today? Uh, the forehand is a difficult, <laughs> it's really difficult with the pole cat, but uh, I did see an awful lot of people trying to throw the, the, uh, the forehand off the tee box. I uh, attempted it on a couple of approach shots, and I also attempted a few thumbers with the pole cat. I would not recommend. Good run <laughs> there from Frank. <laughs> That's over. Oh, Ralph trying to ring up that birdie. Uh -huh. Just missed short there. There were a few birdies on this hole in the first round of my card. I believe Drew carded a birdie on this. Uh, 
So he's got to be frustrated right now. Yeah, that was actually a great tee shot. Maybe just a little yep. nerves on the yep. second hole. Nice up and down for Tony there. Frank making it look easy. Yeah. Frank played solid all day. He was uh, he locked himself uh, out of his car right before this round and had somebody break into his vehicle for him. So uh, he he started off. He, he wasn't even he wasn't even at the uh, on the list at the beginning of the day to play. <laughs> there we go, Frank. That's going to bring us to hole three, two eighty two. Another tight one in the woods here, kind of a little more open. You don't really have to choose a gap here. You just got to get it through, get yeah, it down that's there. correct. Yeah, and it's a little bit downhill. It plays a little bit more downhill than you would think. Any rollers? Do you see any rollers on the day? I did not. Um, I don't I don't know if, if you can really put this thing down on a roller. I'd be impressed. <laughs> Let's see what Tony does here. Yeah, it's, oh, it's easy to do. I got a nice, nice little tree nice love there off that. Yeah, still glided most of the way down the fairway. Yeah, really fun course. The uh, the woods aren't they're pretty fair, right? Not like they're too thick. And oh no, I, I think that this is a uh, I said it's a great amateur course. Like so, um, for me, you know, it's challenging for everybody, but I think it's the you know for for an amateur player, this is a this is a pretty pretty tight wooded course. Um, the red tees are are fair. You need to hit your fairways and uh, um, you know still make your shots, but it'll it'll challenge you. You gotta you gotta make the disc do some uh, some work for you. So. First yeah, available there for Ralph. Couple, couple sh tough, tough tee shots there. But you saw it from Kevin's shot though. He got all the way down there, even th yeah. through the woods. You can get through. Good looking shot out of Drew. That'll be a jump putt. Up and shot from Ralph here, going to the forehand. Another forehand, yeah. It's got to be tough. I mean, you're throwing your your average okay. throw that you really would with your normal discs. It's hard to forget that this is a pole cat. Correct. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It, for for me, that whole first round, uh, it was it was a lot of adjusting the first like five or six holes, and I think that these guys are going to go through that same you know that same process here, even the second round, just figuring out that uh, that you're not <laughs> that you're <laughs> not throwing your normal bag out there. Good out there from Kevin. A little trip up by Drew, but he seemed to be all right. Frank? Good run here by Frank. Yeah, Frank, you making it look easy. I thought Tony was lining up some up and over thing here. Coming right at it. Oh. it up. That looked like some DX plastic too. Yeah. Most of these guys throwing Halo. It looks like Frank's playing with the same disc. Yeah, so Frank's a day of, right? He, yep. Uh, he I'm pretty it. sure, yeah. I think <laughs> day he's playing player. with one. Yeah. That's always a good feeling, right? You show up day of and you You're on lead card. Lead card. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to like think about the tournament for weeks and weeks in advance, you know? No. Unfortunate double bogey there from Ralph. Good par from Tony. We're cruising. That's going to bring us to hole four, 174. This one's got a little bit of slope, a lot of gaps to go through here. You can see some rollaways on a slope kind of green this there. Is, this looks like such an easy shot. It's not. I bought a disc from the pro shop here in, uh, in A3 just to, just to throw on this forehand, uh, something stable. Uh, but this... It's not an easy shot. You just kind of got to pump one right up that middle gap and let it let it nestle in. I think the backhand is the right play with the uh, with the pole cat. Frankie going first available there too. And there Kevin, it is. That's the one. Great line there. We can see on Kevin's hat he has the mini in his hat. Those are really cool. See yep. some of those hats coming out. Yeah, I believe he said Friday. There's more of those coming out. A little too wide there from Drew. It's a tight like, tight gap. I like the idea of this forehand, but it just doesn't really come back, and it's hard. You gotta start off to the right. I don't know. That bowl cat's tough to, you know, tough to get it to come back right after that uh, righty forehand, too. Definitely. Is this a hole you considered throwing a thumber on? No, I, I did not <laughs> consider throwing a thumber uh, unless it was a, uh, a rescue shot. Yeah, Frankie parking it right next to it. A little tree love. This is our first look at Drew's forehand. Yeah, yeah pretty solid. Work. Yeah. Drew played great all day. What uh, what kind of plastic were you playing with? Uh, I threw a halo off the tee box, and I also had some DX plastic that I was putting with. I thought it made a difference, but uh, first round I made a lot of putts, couldn't get off the tee box. Second round got off the tee box really well, couldn't make any putts. Nice par. Yeah, great putt there from Drew. Yep. That's a nice birdie. Yeah, Kevin not only represents his brand well, he's a great birdie. Yeah. You can definitely check those guys out. Frank playing solid, paring out so far. Tony putting with his halo there. Well, whatever works, yeah. 
I don't know if it makes too much of a difference. <laughs> you know, inside the circle like that, it's yeah. it's uh, it's just you got to throw it straight right at the basket and let it glide. It, there's you know, you can't leave it out to the right at all. That's all you got to do. It's going to bring us the whole five one seventy six. Kind of a big turnover on this one. Uh, you can go tight hyzer, but it is it is tight looking at this here. Or just go straight at it like Kevin does. Yep. Good run there. Here. Yeah, I wanted to see these work well, but it's kind of tough throughout the day. <coughs> Frank stepping up, putting a pump on this one. Back door. Yeah, nice yeah, that's nicely done. Surprised by Frank's power. He's got a lot of juice on it. Frank has really nice form. So does Drew. And that's uh, I think that's all you really need with the pole cat is just to be able to not round out, release it down a straight path, and the disc will do the work for you. Always a good shot when you go by our catch cam. That's oh, yeah. our catch cam Brad down there. Just getting warmed up. Oof, starting to look good for Ralph there. They did. They went heavy on the forehands though today, huh? Got to be tough on the scramble, right? Yeah. I mean, off the tee, at least you yep. you got a game plan. Scrambling's tough with the pole cat. That's nice. Ooh. Good run here from Tony. Let's see what Kevin's got for us. Yeah, Kevin was great to play with in the first round as well. He was he was just such a nice guy. Um, you know, we, neither one of us played. Uh, I don't think up to our potential, and um, you know, both handled it. I think the same. <laughs> Good birdie there. <laughs> the from smile you. on the face. Nice birdie, Frank. <laughs> you know, put a smile on and call it a day. Here you go. It was beautiful out there, though. There was a little bit of wind, but uh, not enough uh, in the wooded holes to really affect it. But in those open holes, it was tough. We're going to see some more protected holes here. Hole 6, 189. This is another one, kind of something straight with a little slight turnover. Really uh, cool hole it's a, Yeah, this is a beautiful one. For a pole cat, it's just such a fun shot. I'm, you know, like regularly uh, I'm throwing a putter on this and, you know, maybe a buzz up the hill or something like that, but maybe a rock. Let's see what Frank does here. He just goes right at it. Uh, turned it over just a little bit, but still got it all the way up there. Yeah, pole cat does have some good slide, especially yep. on this kind of dirt here. The, like co the course is really, you know, like, and it gets a little muddy, and you know, like, you know, obviously the mud season, but uh, uh, like this time of year, it, the course is playing great. It's beautiful. It's uh, nice, smooth, open fairways. That got all the way up there. Beautiful shot. Good height there. It's be a drop in. Yeah. So multiple layouts on this course. They also have a, a longer course, championship course, and then they have a couple other things going on. Really cool New England Disc Golf Center. If you haven't checked it out. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing a great job. Ralph hitting that little baby Christmas tree there. Let's see what Tony's got for us. Yeah, if anything, these guys are having a lot of fun today. <laughs> yeah, that's, I mean, I think that was the mentality for everyone out there today was just go out, throw some discs, uh, have, a, have a good time because it's not going to be uh, what you're used to. A rare, rare miss from Frankie. Good run from Tony there. Yeah, how many rounds before this did you practice polecat only? Did you I, have any no, I did not. <laughs> I was not smart enough. Actually, the day before, my brother had told me, uh, um, I thought it was on Sunday, and uh, he was like, aren't you playing in that polecat tournament tomorrow? I'm like, yeah, that's not tomorrow. It's Sunday. He's like, no, it's tomorrow. I'm like, all right. Good back-to-back -back birdie from Drew. Birdie from Kevin, too. Good, uh, good hole from these guys. Fortunate toad uh, bogey for Tony there. It's going to bring us to hole seven. This one's a really tight one. 153. On paper, it looks so easy. You step up to the tee with a pole cat. Oh, it's How got this It's got this no smoking sign that goes right through the middle. It's like kind of like this semicircle of a tree with this slash mark that goes through it. And you got to hit this tight little gap. It's it's a beaut. Uh, it's a really fun hole again. Uh, just technical. You know, you can throw this turnover shot right here. Yeah. Uh, kind of so straight nice. turnover. Or I think a lot of these guys, oh, that's beautiful. Great shot. A lot of these guys might might opt for that uh, forehand off the tee. I'm not sure. Doesn't seem like these two trees come into play, but they definitely oh, do. Oh, they certainly do. They're so tempting. And then there's these other trees off to the right. It's a very, very tight gap. Yeah, you can get lucky. You know, there's there's a few few spots uh, um, that you can kind of sneak one all the way up there. But that's you know these these those were executed nicely. Yeah, it great like, shot yeah, from it's, Frank. This looks like a smart play too. The the forehand on this. Tough to make it come back though. You got to put a lot of hyzer on that. Yep. I, I didn't see any really. 
forehand dominant players. I, I don't know. I don't know how he's, these guys were doing it the whole time. You know, I look like a different. Uh, I look like a DX Paul Cat. Maybe a Tony. Maybe yeah. switching it up. Like right. that idea. I throw mainly like weird thumbers and stuff like that. So this this was just I was like, all right, just pretend it's a putter and try to <laughs> try to do what you can. Good run out of Ralph there. Yeah, Tony making nice it. Nice birdie. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Frank, excuse me, like making it look easy. Move it up and down from Tony there. Back to back birdies for Kevin. Oh, that mini hat. <laughs> it just looks cool. And I love it. Great idea, because how many people do you play with that just forget their minis? And then it's like, dude. I think I lose like one every month. And I think that's a turkey there for Drew. That's yeah. great. Three holes for him. Yep. It's going to bring us to hole eight. One of my favorites, 207. Bunch of different plays you can go here. But you got to get through. 207, short hole, but you got to get through. Yeah. it's it's uh, You can throw a little Anheuser around the left-hand side, or you can go straight up that gut. I think the smart play is right at the basket. I tried going around the first time, and it uh, didn't work out for me. Second time, I went right through. Real and nice shot. Yeah, you got a lot of action around the basket here, too. Slight kind of turnover. He's been throwing dead straight, but that was a great shot. Oh, really, this looks good out of yeah. Kevin. Nice them. Nice them. Frankie. Frank throwing this forest green polecat. Just awesome all day. Great kick there. Yep. Right and kicks it. off the CTP flag <laughs> there. <laughs> Let's see what Ralph's cooking up. A big hyzer here. Yeah. Just misses yeah. that tree. Oh, and check God. this out. Look at Brett. <laughs> <laughs> From where I was standing, I thought for sure this was an ace. Let's take another look at this. Yeah, this is this just is misses that. Oh, crazy Kicks action! Off the tree. Yeah, <laughs> wanted that to stick so bad. Just kiss the chains. Great shot, still. Yep, that's some tree love for you. This has to get sneaky for that's Tony. So he was trying to go with that little turnover. <laughs> About pin high. That'll work. Yeah. Glide, yeah. Yeah, you can tell Kevin's a great putter. Just throws it flat, nice. Every putt out of him is confident, no pun intended. Oh, beauty. Great birdie there from Tony. I think these DeMonte boys are going to turn it around. Yeah, Starting to get know. a little momentum. I don't know. Look at Drew. He looks pretty serious. Yeah, he, looks so serious. he was making putts all day, though. He had those glasses on. You know, he, you can't tell what he's doing, and then he just gives you that smile after. I got to play in shades more. I never do it. That's what I was thinking, too. Cool. You know, it does. You know, nobody can reach you. Got that poker face. Ralph getting a bird there, too. He sunk some huge putts in that first round, though. There was a, there was a few holes there that I was jaw dropped. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Great birdie there from Frank. That's going to bring us to hole nine, 266, the last hole on our front nine. A little more wide, a little more room to breathe, but still, got to get through. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it. These a lot of these holes look the same on the, you know, when you're when you're flying the drone through. It just looks like a lot of trees, really tight gap, but they're all they're all slightly different. You know, you need to get the disc to turn in a different spot. This is pretty much straight. You can, it's easy to do that. Like pull it over that uh, that right hand side, let it come in. It's yeah. just minimal. Same thing with Frank yep. here. Just minimal angle on the disc, and it just keeps going. That's the beauty of the pole cap. Mm -hmm. Just rides that angle all the way down. Yeah, it's unforgiving. You know, uh, if if uh, like I said, it it just kind of points out your uh, your flaws in your form. Uh, I don't know if I saw any champ plastic there, but that'd be cool to see how the champ uh, champ stacks flies up against yeah. these guys. Yeah, the halo seemed to be the uh, the popular choice. Mm -hmm. Definitely the coolest. Yeah, yeah definitely. Brand new. Yeah. Ralph looking to heat one up oh. here. Yeah, it's an interesting like those those longer putts are really tough with them because you you really can't leave it left or right. It's just going to go straight. Like however you release it, it's it's going to go on that line, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you really got to trust that it's going to stay because a lot of times uh, those those putters will highs are out on you. Yeah, I wonder where these guys are aiming. Are they aiming center pole? Oh, you, you got to go center pole. Yeah. Like I, I, you know, like it took me a while. I aim right side a lot now because I'm I, you know, I throw a little bit of these spin putts that are a little highs are out yeah. of the hand yep, these yep. days. Um, I had to get out of that mentality real fast. There goes Just that throw, mini yeah. hat. Yeah, so clean. Mm -hmm. So great ending hole, cruising through the front nine. We got some serious scores. We got a lot of change in that front nine. Yep. It's a tough front nine. Yeah, I think you'll see a lot more action on the back. But 
We got uh, Drew Gardner at minus 10. We got some scores all over the place. Mm -hmm. Elliot Lab making Ooh, a run Elliot, there. Elliot coming up. You got to put another L in his name. Matthew Talbot in there. <laughs> what do you think after the front nine, Drew? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, these these guys played pretty well. I uh, got off to a slow start, but I think, uh, like I said, that back nine is going to lend itself a little bit more to uh, um, shorter holes and uh, a little bit more birdieable opportunities. Definitely. Thanks so much for checking out the front nine, guys. We'll see you in the back nine.